What's good YouTube? Jonathan Dorn, CPA, licensed CPA in the state of Florida. This is Basic Accounting Tips Part 2. Let's get this shit in. Um, <clears throat> if you missed Part 1, go to the homepage, CPA Strength, and uh, watch that one first because this one won't make as much sense. So anyways, um, now I'm going to do this on all my Basic Accounting Tips from now on. We're going to go D, C, Debit credit, aid, lure. Now I'm a C. I'm a CPA. And I still do this. You can do this in the first day of accounting class. DC aid lure, debit, credit, asset, draw, expense, liability, equity, revenue. DC aid lure. All right. So now. Every time you do a journal entry, you are going to have at least one debit and at least one credit. Every time you input something into the books, you're going to have at least one debit, at least one credit. You might have 20 debits. A lot of times you will have uh, 20 or 30 expenses and um, money coming out of the bank over here. So you might have 20, 20 debits, one credit. And no matter how many different uh, entries you have on each side, it's always, always going to equal. Always, 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 always equals. A lot of, a lot of accounting software won't let you leave the page or, or whatever if the debits don't equal the credits. So that's a, that's a steadfast rule. Take that one to the bank. Tell your mama it's uh it's always gonna happen. So um, now you're just gonna have to remember that debit is always in the left. Always, always, always. Credit is always on the right. Now one's not good and one's not bad. See I, I got confused for I'll be honest about two years of my accounting career because I thought debit I thought I thought debit I was confused because I know I thought asset asset is good right right so I thought okay debit's good um, but then revenue is good money's good income and money's good and and so I thought credit's good so you know that's totally wrong the way to think about this is you know, neither good or bad just is. Um, neither good or bad. Okay? Now, these are, and these are, these are positive, these are, these are positive sides. So, if you have if you have a positive asset, if you have money coming in, that's a debit. If you have a negative asset, it's a credit. So these are all positive sides. Positive. 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 You'll you'll see where that comes in later because you can have an asset. If if there's an asset leaving, if there's money leaving, it'll be a it'll be a it'll be a credit. So, um, <clears throat> but anyways, so th these are positive sides. D C A lure. All right. Now you might ask, what is? You know what what are these? And I'll keep it. I'll just try to keep it simple and brief for now. Now the most the most common most common assets is cash most common asset is cash okay but you can also but you also have um, accounts receivable inventory um, equipment equipment buildings so that's assets but let's focus on cash cash is the most common and a lot of entries Especially in the beginning, you know, in the beginning, you, you want to know what to do with cash, that'll help you. So, those are the assets. A draw, 
is when say when an owner this can also be owner's equity you might see this as own owner's equity but anyways when the um, when the owner writes a check to himself it's a draw or if it's or if it's a um, a business um, it, it might be a um, like if it's a corporation it could be a distribution or a dividend so and it's almost the other side of equity so distra distribution is the draw and expense is uh you know something you spend in the hopes of making some money for your for your business or whatnot we'll say we'll just say uh rent utilities you know uh and such and such and such telephone internet tele internet all right so now these are all positive, positive debits. Aid, DC aid. Now let's go with LUR. Liabilities. These are going to be um, accounts payable. What do you owe somebody? Wages payable. Now almost every liability is a payable, except earned and revenue. So if you see a payable. It's it's mo it's a liability. So um, the owner's equity, you're not really gonna mess with that too much. It's mostly the retained. We'll just say it's retained earnings. Re you know, we'll just have it retained earnings. Um, we'll get into that later, but uh, for now, just the owner's equity. That's how much you have in the business. You know, the owner's equity. The equity what you have in the business and uh, also revenue so that's uh, you do you make a sale you do service that's going to be revenue so sales service you guys love my handwriting that's a lefty strength oh I think it's, it's August 13th day it's lefty day so any lefties out there with the only ones in our right mind yeah, I joke. I suck. Anyways, uh, so let's get back to this. So that's DC aid lure. So you know uh, kind of what they are. All right. Now we're gonna do some journal entries in the next in the next video. Um, I just want you to know, watching this one, that um, expenses and revenue. That's the income statement here. This is what's on the income statement. Now, when uh, when you do your, when you file your taxes at the end of the year, you're pretty much going to give your CPA. Uh, you're going to give them the income statement, and you're going to give them the balance sheet. Now, the balance sheet's the biggest the biggest thing. That's why you might or might not have heard of it a lot. You know, balance sheet carries over you from year to year. And the balance sheet is the basic accounting equation, which is which is assets equals liability plus equity. And we'll go we'll go over that of course later. I just want to show you that the, the DCA lure it, it just works because you have your income statement right here, and then you also have your balance sheet, see? Assets equals liability plus equity. So there's your balance sheet. And the, the draw is basically the other side of equity, so it can kind of be included in there. Um, but anyways, that's that's part two, and I'm I'm obviously not a teacher. I just I struggled for years. Uh, I actually had an accounting degree, didn't really have a full grasp of this. I freaking struggled. And I learned this, I learned, I learned DC aid lure. And once I started writing this down every time and referring to it while I was doing journal entries and problems, I, it just, the light bulb went off. So I, I, I just, I feel like I need to share people, 
to people who struggle. Um, you don't need T accounts with this. This this is kind of a T account. Um, this is all you'll ever need. DCA learn really. Uh, anyways, uh, if you if you've liked the uh, the video, uh, get a thumbs up, give me a like, subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna have a whole bunch of stuff. CPA strength. Um, I love being a CPA and strength because I'm gonna be the strongest. Let me see. <sighs> strongest CPA in America and. Uh, I'm hella addicted to working out. So, deuces.